Uh, that again now brings me to the last question of today evening. Yes, we can all be excited about it. <laughs> okay, so since we are here and um, today is all about listening to alumni, you know, you all have such amazing experience over a period of time. We have a lot of young VLSI aspirants in the house online watching us right now. What do you want to tell them? So I'll rather ask you to give them one tip which actually they can use probably to build a career in VLSI. Also from your own experience, one not to do to be successful. So yes, I think I'll start with a to do. Uh, Abhinandan, we'll start with you. Okay, so rather than saying a skill or anything, I think it's the attitude or the mindset that we should have that we should always adapt. Because uh, w the technology that was there 10 years back is like, you know, is not going to be useful anymore for the ne after five more years. So we should always be looking forward to adapt. Like how Chandrasekhar sir told that, uh, you know, he was in telecom and then now he had to move. So, and we have to take ownership. Yes, yes, absolutely. And, uh, you know, you shouldn't wait for things to happen. True. And we should uh, create opportunities for ourselves. Because... The, the market is wild, like, you know, pretty big and uh, you take an opportunity and you are going to make it big, you know, if you put your heart and soul into it. Like now I assume this is a to-do list. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, when uh, this will be helpful even for an experienced person. Uh, so, always, whoever it is, whether it's a starting of the career or on the peak of the career, without, uh, improv like without improvising themselves, it is very difficult to move on in the career. So, what I personally felt was, uh, like uh, uh, when we were working continuously, after a period of time in a company, we feel like we are repeating ourselves with the same thing. Mm -hmm. So over that time, how, like I felt like how do how do I uh, make myself learn in this kind of situation? So what I felt, uh, what I did was, so wherever I am, I just add, uh, do, uh, catch something uh, which is very close to what I'm working and I learn and I just make it part of my job. I'll tell what not to do. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, as soon as you guys trained, uh, you'll try for a few opportunities outside like industry. For two months, you might think like, okay, we are not getting job, let's switch to see uh, like uh, other courses of software or something. And uh, we'll try for the software. Correct? So, don't do that. Actually, even though it is a late, never give up. Try and try. Even we are uh, like uh, EC engineers. Why we have to go back to see or uh, some other languages to learn over there and want to work over there? Give it a try. There is a lot of openings over here. Talk with your seniors. Talk with your mailnets, and definitely you will be through in the industry. Whenever we, uh, you know, we are approaching fourth year, we will be having a dilemma. Where should we go? Most of the EC triple will be scared of Java. I would say. I am the uh, first person for that. Same, same with so, me. <laughs> so the thing is, what is the option? You can't go, uh, go to MBBS, okay? With that type uh, of engineering degree. So the other option might be electronics. Or you have to go with the embedded, whatever it is. So then you just uh, see the industry, what exactly the industry is looking for a person's, uh, other than semiconductor, other than uh, like software-wise. So then you just first focus on which part I have to go, like whether should I approach MTech or should I take any courses. See nowadays there are many courses are coming up. Uh, I would say you can, it's up to their own uh, choice. Uh, you can start the course or it can, you can go with MTech and you can again uh, start the course as well if you want. I would say don't, uh, you know, uh, delay or don't stop, you know, uh, like uh, learning. Better I'll say like, you know, go to any institute, any institute, whatever, uh, whatever the thing is, like nearby. If you stay in home, I would say like, you know, you will be in a dilemma like, you know, I'm not getting a job, I'm not getting a job. Uh, like, see, uh, it depends on what skill you have and what, uh, you know, the interviewer is expecting from you. So, just keep on learning. I would say, you know, there are people like, they can be self-motivated and they can, uh, every day they can, uh, you know, uh, study and they'll come up. But a few people cannot study in the home itself, okay? They need some coaching kind of. 
so you just go to the coaching whatever it is going into your mind just let it go okay and you parallelly apply for a job it would say like you know it would be benefit for you later like there is no gap for you in the learning wise in your career wise also so that would be the best part i would say and and uh, you know uh, don't go to software man i mean now it is i would say <laughs> now whoever is the fresher don't go to the software <laughs> don't eat up their jobs also <laughs> like you see there are multiple jobs uh, currently there is a freeze i agree i agree but it is only a 3 months i would say after 3 months there is a no more openings are coming up so just uh, stay focused maybe and uh, you know keep keep on you uh, whatever the interview went through just note down the questions uh, and uh, you know you talk to the seniors or alumni or someone and note down the what exactly industry is expecting or what what exactly you know uh, the team or for example you are going you, you went with the verification uh, domain or article domain what exactly they are expecting okay just list out them and you no need to answer everything okay even uh, me or uh, whoever is here they cannot be explaining everything they'll be not knowing everything okay in the interview they'll say like that i would say but they'll not be knowing everything and also don't expect like you know you and also interviewer will not expect to you uh, solve the completely all the coding or whatever the topic you he ask okay he'll see the approach first he'll see the approach then only he'll you know he'll judge based on the other candidates right. like most of us said today own up to your careers go out explore upskill yourself great thank you so much